working for the Sports Channel, Gary. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, do consider subscribing as I upload a lot of GTA 5 mods. I'll um, give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoy it. So pretty much guys, for today, I'm bringing a car pack to GTA 5. Uh, I, as you can see here guys, I have a bunch of cars that are obviously not in GTA 5, right? So we have a Lambo, Gallardo, a Viper, Corvette, a Porsche, a Mazda, and you know, many other cars. And then, uh, yeah, I'm probably not pronouncing them right as someone mentioned earlier I am I am American so <laughs> I might not pronounce all the cars correctly how they should be pronounced but feel free to correct me um, so here are just a couple cars guys um, there, I, I'll have a list up uh, of all the cars that are actually with this mod and this car pack which is one that I found that actually doesn't seem as sketchy because I know some car packs uh, once you click on download, it'll take you to some sketchy link and I heard some people get viruses and obviously I don't want a virus Obviously, I don't want you guys to get a virus Hold up. Wait a minute. So I found one that's pretty low risk and one that actually worked So this is one of them. I'll have this thing in the description Um, and it's pretty sweet. I a bunch of these actually all of these cars I pretty much maxed out the upgrade so like the visuals you can actually change the bumpers the wheels the spoilers and they actually belong to the car so I just auto upgrade all of them just to show you an example right some of them might not look the best might not fit you but that's just just an example just to show you guys that you can actually can upgrade these um, but as soon as you spawn these vehicles too they will just spawn basic and stock so they will come without a spoiler and all those modifications so, so here you have a GTR and these sound pretty nice too right <laughs> can tell this might actually kind of messes with the sound of the vehicles on purpose because there you heard the GTR sounds more sporty and if I were to get in the Mustang it sounds more like a muscle car so so they did mess around with that so there's that and then also the interiors here I'll show you guys the interiors let's see if I can get in there you go so you know they did mess with the interiors a little bit too looks nice pretty sweet and then let's see what else I can show you guys. I'll stay in first person. This actually looks kind of cool. So here we have, uh, I think it's a Celica. And uh, yeah, Toyota. Yep, I believe so. And then I also have a list of all the cars that this mod includes. I like this one a lot too, but I think this is probably my favorite. I think this Subaru is probably my favorite. I don't know why. I really like how it looks. The color, the... It just looks nice, right? It just looks really cool. I really like that front bumper. I dig it. I'm not gonna lie. I really do. I, I love it, actually. I really do enjoy it. And then the door. Look at that. The doors, too. They have a... What's his name again? I forgot. But... They got the doors. Let me, look on, let me go on first person again. So... Let's see. It's all pretty... Uh, this, the creator of this mod obviously has uh, like, uh, pictures of women, so... <laughs> That's uh, what you're gonna get in this mod. Gary! Uh, I was just looking for the sports channel, Gary. So there's that. And then this mod isn't too difficult to. Oh, you know what? I'll take that back. I'll show you guys how to install it so you guys can follow me, but it is maybe like four mods that we installed for this mod. But, but, I feel like installing three on, of those mods might actually help out with other mods in the future. So it's definitely worth installing just because it might help. The reason we install more than one mod than just the actual car pack mod is because the game doesn't really handle, can't really handle so many cars. It'll just crash. So what we do is install another mod, another three mods that mess with that and prevent the game from crashing. So now that I think about it, it might actually help out with other mods in the past that you guys have had crash. So I would try installing, uh, going through this tutorial, installing those three that I'll mention in a little bit, and then trying out other mods that might crash in the past. So yeah, so let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll go ahead and drive this car. I would spawn all these cars, but unfortunately, it's, they tend to disappear, so. If I drive away, I'm pretty sure these cars will just disappear. Oh, and also, feel free to check out my other video. I'll, ha I'll have it at the top of this video, but you can also make any of these cars your personal vehicle. So, as you can see, guys, in the bottom left-hand corner, I have a blue car. 
personal vehicle and it's not the Audi or you know it's actually the Corvette So it's pretty cool. I have it locked. So I'll have the t I'll have uh, the tutorial on how to do that in the, in the at the top of the video, and then if I unlock it, I can get back in, and boom. So there's that. And then if I want to make the Subi my personal vehicle, which I probably will. I actually really like it. <laughs> I keep saying that, but I like it. Let's see. Okay, so I have to get in it first. So if I get out it now, I can lock it, and it's a personal vehicle. So. I'm gonna unlock it to get back in. And then I'm gonna drive away. That GTR is pretty nice too. You know what? This, this whole car pack is really sweet, so definitely worth installing, in my opinion. I'm gonna drive away now. This car sounds really good too. And then my car, the cars are probably mostly all disappeared, so. Are they still there? Yeah, so. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the mod. I'm gonna keep dropping a little bit just to show you guys. Because this is actually a lot of fun. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, this is really dark. Yeah, I'm staying in third person. And then I do have another mod too. That's why this, it looks a little bit darker than normal. I think it's a, uh, the, called the GTA 5.5 mod. Um, if you guys want to see that too, this is how the night looks and with that mod. So I'll have it. I'll have it at the top as well of this video. So yeah, I'll go ahead and show you guys how to install this mod now, and then I'll be right with you guys. Alright guys, so this, this is the mod that I just showed you guys. So it's called, I uh, believe, uh, I don't know if I'll pronounce it right, but it's called Ubluda Car Pack. So yeah, it's 50 cars to the game. And then, I believe, I'll go to the description, it shows you a list of all the cars. So, it's a good amount. Definitely fun. And worth installing, in my opinion, just because... Boom, just a couple of installs and boom you have 50 new cars in the game you can mess with and if you guys did install the personal vehicle uh mod that i just showed you guys a little bit ago you, if you can make any of those your personal vehicle so super cool definitely worth installing in my opinion and then you also will need a uh, game config so what this does is since like i mentioned it does add a lot of vehicles to your game your game might crash so this prevents it from crashing and then same here this uh, all three mods are pretty much the same thing so this one is called the heap limit adjuster and then when the game crashes you do get this error so this mod prevents that error from coming up and it actually allows the game to start so but luckily just these just go in the root so i'll show you guys in a little bit so first is first go ahead and download the car pack so we're gonna go ahead and install the car pack first um, it is a pretty large file, so it is 1.3 gigabytes. It might take a little bit. Uh, I'm not gonna download it again, just because I already I already have it, and it is pretty large, and I'm running out of space on my computer, which I probably should open my hard drive. But um, so I'm not gonna download it, and so I'm just gonna show you guys. So I'm gonna close this out, and it is by Mediafire, so you should see the screen. Let it download. It should be pretty clean. I had no problems myself. So there's that. Where did that other mod go? I must have closed on that. Okay, anyways, we'll move on. So, yes, yeah, so here, so in case you do close out the, uh, your mod, just go ahead and look up game config GT5. And this is the one that I closed out. So, this one. So, for this one, once you download it, let me bring it up. We're going to install this one first because it's a little bit more steps. I'll have the instructions here. Let me bring it up. Alright, so I've, I found the mod on my computer now. So this is what you're gonna see probably. Um, make sure you extract it, guys, because you don't. If you don't extract it, it will your mod will not work. So make sure you do extract it. I'm gonna go ahead and extract it here. Uh, I'm not gonna replace. I'm just gonna skip these files. Um, but it might take a little bit just because it is kind of a big file right now. I just went through all of them just because I already have it, and it just skips it if I already have it. So it, for me, and I think at first it took maybe like a minute to extract just because it's so large so once it's done extract i'm gonna this is the file that's not extracted i'm just gonna close this out so then we have now once you are left with the extracted version we're gonna minimize this for this we'll come back 
So you are left with this. And what you're gonna do is gonna go ahead and open up OpenIV. And then just to reiterate guys, you do need script to five, you do need script to done at three, and then we're using OpenIV to install the mod and I am using menu. That's the trainer that I'm using and that's how I was able to spawn my vehicles. So I wouldn't go ahead and install those, but if you have a trainer that you can spawn vehicles and you're content with that trainer, don't worry about menu. Um, that's just the trainer that I use, but I'm just letting you guys know, feel free to use it. All right, so I want you to go ahead. Oops, nope. I closed on, must have closed on GTA 5 Liberty City, which I don't have when we're messing with GTA 5. So I'll go ahead and open up OpenIV. And then this is pretty much the thing here. This is pretty much where we're gonna go first. So the mod's up there here, I'll show you guys in a little bit. So we're gonna also wanna add this line. And then I, I don't know if I can put it in the comments. Someone, did, someone told me I can put this in the comments, but I can't put this in, put this in the description just because YouTube doesn't allow these little arrows, brackets, uh, whatever you want to call them. I can't put those in there. Also, with copy and paste for you guys to copy and paste as well. But G, uh, YouTube, it just doesn't let us. All right. So once you have OpenIV open, go ahead and go to this directory right here. So go to mods. Here, I'll put this over here just so you guys can see as well. So we're going to go to mods update update rpf common data all right guys so once you are here uh you're gonna want to find a dlc list that xml and that's already installed on the game so it doesn't you don't gotta download it so if you just scroll down you should be able to see it so it should be the second down from the xml text so it should be at the bottom and it'll say dlc list at xml go ahead and go to edit mode that we can actually edit click on it and then right click don't double click because if you double click uh, for some reason it doesn't let you edit at least not for me so I right click edit and then you should get a little window pop-up so once you scroll to the very bottom all right so you have all these items inside of this paths so all these are within that path and if you scroll down here's where the path closes so you can tell it closes by this little forward slash so you want to put it inside of here so I already have it in here, so I'm just gonna give you an example. But once you open up and go scroll to the bottom, you can literally just copy the top one above it. So as you can see, they all mostly look the same, but this one has a backslash. So we just copy how it is. So make sure it's, here, I'll do it again just for you guys. So I'm gonna drag, copy, just any random one from the top, just to get the, I'm doing this just to uh, copy the format. So I'm gonna retype in the item and everything. So once you do that, again, make sure it's, uh, this and then backslash and then we're gonna change this because in here inside these two slashes we're gonna type in 420 and then V and then and then one UB yeah so one UB so exactly how I have here so it'll look exactly like that and then it'll look exactly like this all right so once you're done I'm gonna delete it because I already have it uh, but once you type that in there and it's in there, go ahead and click save. And then I can't do that because I already have the game open. So I want to hit. And then also, I guess I'm glad we did this. We're going to want to close out your game. Close out. Because if you leave it open, you'll probably get this error. So just so you guys know. So once you do that, you want to go on to the next step. So let's go ahead and open up this right here. So you can actually just close this out. So save it. See, now let me save it just so you guys know. So make sure you close out your game. And then next step is here. So make go to this path right here. So we're gonna go to, so we're gonna go back to our GTA 5 route. So we're gonna go mods, update, x64, DLC packs. And as you can see guys, I already have this folder right here. So if you don't, all I did was click on here, type in uh, 420 and then V, one U B. So it'll look exactly like this. I already have it in here, so I'm not gonna create a folder. So once you create it, hit click OK. I'm gonna cancel it because I already have it again. And then you're gonna have an empty folder. So um, I have the DLC to RPF, but I copied it in there. So here, let me show you where to find it. So open up the mod again. So this is the mod, this is the car pack. Go ahead and go into pretty much the same path, but without the, but without the mod. So this is the, uh, this is the mod, right? Go to update. I'm following this again, except the mods, because we don't have the mods. So just go start at update. So update x64. 
DLC packs and then go inside here and you should be able to find a DLC to RPF and that's literally all I have so I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste it again for you guys so copy and paste so drag drop boom and it's in there so once you're in there that step is done and now we're gonna move on to another step so back to open IV or open four go into this right here so go to mods update update rpf dlc patch all right cool so as you can see guys i already have it in here so what you would do here is literally same thing again create another folder type in 420 v1 u b click okay and then you should have an empty folder so i already have it again so i'm going to cancel but for you if you don't have it just click okay and then once you have a folder it's going to be empty again so see but i already i have the monitor here because i already dragged this so i'm going to show you where to get it from so once you create the folder and it's empty go ahead and go back to the map and you're gonna do the same thing pretty much the same thing you did it with the last one so you're kind of going to follow the same path but without the mod so I'll go to update update rpf dlc patch and then go back inside the 420v um you could probably even just drag and drop the folder to where it was before but i'm just taking it the long way because this is what the instruction said and this is what i'm just going to follow and this is what it worked this, this is what worked for me so and then once you find this content drag drop Boom, you have this in here. So once you're done with that, the mod is pretty much installed, guys. And you can actually you can actually start the game right away and it might work, but I'd say maybe for most of us it probably won't work just because of all the cars and stuff. So at least for me it didn't work. So this is why I have to do the next following step. So I'm gonna go through that with you guys as well. So we're done with this mod. I'm gonna close it out. And then we're gonna want to download the custom game config. So we go back to uh, your browser. We are going to download the game config now. So now you see this big online uh, diamond casino heist picture. Go ahead and click download. So it's called game config. Download again. All right. So once you click download, it's a pretty small file. We're going to go ahead and extract it. All right. So once it's extracting, it should be up in like five seconds. We are going to go and open it up. Or here, I'll show you guys what to do next with the instructions. So the game config, it's gonna go on this file path right here. So first, first is first, let's go to this this path right here. So go back to OpenIV. Let's start at the beginning. So this is the root GT file, go to mods, update, update RPF, common. Right, I'm just following this right here. And then uh, common and then data. So once you're here, it should be the same path as the DLC list XML that we edited earlier. And all we're doing this time is editing the file right under it, so which is the game config. And we're replacing it with the modified game config. And this would allow us to have more vehicles in the game without crashing. So once you're here, go back to the mod. So this is the GT5 game config mod that we downloaded. Go to GT config for V, whatever. And then here we have a couple different options. So Pretty much what this is, there's different options because if I'm correct, feel free to correct me if I'm mistaken, but pretty much what I got out of it is you kind of have to start at the bottom um, and it adds the traffic. So right now it's just less, so I, this is the one that I had and this is the one that worked for me, but I would probably work my way up. So obviously it's going to be less traffic, less traffic, it's going to be less pedestrians, but that allows the game to work normally. Um, so if I put the stock traffic, so the normal, it didn't work for me. So I had to lower down the traffic and the pedestrian. So I just put the first one. So this is all I put. So you will notice there's going to be less cars on the street and less pedestrians. But if it doesn't crash, you're good. But once you get high enough, it'll add more cars, more pedestrians to the game. The game might crash because it can't handle all of that. Um, so I just put in the, this one, but feel free to work your way up until you find a point where the, it's enough traffic and enough pedestrians that you like, that you like but at the point where the game doesn't actually crash. So I hope that made sense. So I'm gonna start at the bottom, just for uh, purposes of this uh, video. So I'm gonna start with the basic. Once you see this game config file inside, uh, it should be the same file in all of these two. So just so you guys know, so this game config, so it's the same thing. So I'm, I just I just went with the first one. So once you see the game config, drag and drop. Boom, and then it should be in here. And the way you you probably won't see much of a change since it's already on here, but you will see that it went from compressed encrypted, so it'll look like this, and it'll go to this, so just compressed. So the game config is installed now. That is all done. So we are done with two out of the four mods. We're gonna go ahead and close this out. 
go back to the downloads and we have two more to download so for this one guys i want you to just download both at once so click download on the heap limit adjuster and click download on the limit on the pack file limit adjuster so click download on both we're just going to take them both because they all go to the same spot which is the root of gta 5. so i'm going to open up both of them make sure you extract both of them as well guys make sure you extract both of them all right so this is the unextracted version i'm going to close this out and then i'm left with the extracted version and i hope i'm not going too fast guys if i if you have any questions or anything just let me know and i'm going to extract so all i did guys is download both files and i extracted both files and then I'm going to close out the files that are not extracted. So I'm just left with the two extracted files. So see, the, these are the two mods that we just downloaded together. So this is the heap adjuster and the limit adjuster. So guys, this is super easy. Put pack file limit. Oops, this is not mimic. It's limit and the heap limit adjuster in roots of GT5. So that's just going to go to the root. So here, let me show you what I mean by that. So if I go here. I'm just going to leave it like that. So go back to root of GT5, go to the very, very beginning. And then here, uh, I here I have the heap that uh, GT5 that heap adjuster ASI. Just drag and drop into the root. Boom, that's it. Just drag it and drop. It should be in there. So now if I look for it, it should be under the ASI, ASI plugin. It should be right here. So it's there i'm gonna close this out because i'm done with that one we got one more mod so we're done with three out of the four we got one more and then this is also going to go in the root so i'm going to click the first one hold shift and click on the next one and hold to uh highlight both of them i'm going to drag and drop in here too and that's it guys you're all done the cars are all installed now and then there is a list of all the mods uh that the car uh that the car mod comes with so if you go back, I think you guys can also see on here. So these are all the cars. And then to actually spawn the vehicles, you can uh, go into the spawn vehicles and then type in the name. So you would just type in this name. I didn't show you guys a little bit, but you know what? I'll show you guys a little bit as well, just for, so I'll go back to the game. But if you already know how to do that, then you don't gotta watch the rest, but I'll put that in here. You would just type these names into the spawn vehicle and the trainer. And that is how you get the vehicle. So it's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you guys are still gonna stick around and to see me actually show you guys how to spawn these vehicles, uh, cause I didn't show you guys earlier, but I'll show you guys in a little bit, and then I will be right with you guys. And if you guys are all done, thanks guys so much for watching the video, and then I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right. So if you guys are still watching, I'll be right with you guys. All right, guys. So I'm just gonna show you guys a quick little uh, way to actually spawn the vehicles. If you don't know um so if you don't know just go ahead and open up your trainer so i'm using menu right now and then what you're gonna want to do guys is go to vehicle options go to vehicle spawner and then if you scroll down to the very bottom you'll see an option that says input model so i just show if you go scroll down scroll down scroll down um input model and then here's where you type in the names that the mod comes with so like if you want to spawn the Lamborghini Gallardo in the mod in, in the list, I'll show. I'll, I would have put it up on the screen earlier, so it'll just type in Gallardo, press enter, and then your car is spawned. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, so if you still you still are here, um, thank you for watching all the way through. Um, if you have any more questions or anything, just let me know, and then I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and then I'll take care, guys. All right, bye.